Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I will be sharing a recipe our family usually makes around the holidays, sour cream dropped cookies. So let's get into this. If you are new here, welcome. As I stated in the beginning, my family loves making these cookies around the holidays. They are really fun because you can add colors to the cookies and really have them fit any theme. My mom and I made these for Christmas, so obviously we chose red and green. Feel free to screenshot the recipe card here to save for the future. On this day, we made a double batch, so I will put those measurements on the screen throughout the video. One technique that we like to use whenever we measure out shortening and then sugar is to measure out the sugar using the same measuring cup. This makes it easy to scrape down the sides and not waste any of the shortening remaining on the sides of the measuring cup. For my returning viewers, you know that I'm expecting my second child any day now, at least while I'm recording this voiceover. And by the time you are watching this, baby Jack has probably already arrived. So this video is giving me a chance to recover, but still provide you with some content. I can't wait to share little Jack with you all and give you more motherhood content in the future. So if you are new here and motherhood content is your jam, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the upcoming changes to our little family. But getting back to the cookies, the technique I used here to color the batter was to put a layer of the batter at the bottom of a bowl, drop a few drops of food coloring on top, and swirl it around using a fork until there was a nice marbled look. Then I added another layer of the batter and dropped a few drops of the second color on top and swirled it again. I repeated this until there was no batter left, making sure to alternate the colors. This technique made it so that after the dough had chilled in the fridge, a cookie scoop would get a little bit of both colors for one cookie. If you wanted to have more colors in the cookies, you could do two or more colors swirled together in each layer and alternate that way.
A double batch made a lot of cookies, but our family wasn't going to complain about that. We like how light and fluffy these cookies are and how easily they freeze and defrost. We often make them ahead and store them in the freezer until we have a family gathering. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.